Introduction Look at the three pictures. These pictures show different time of a day. It is morning time. It is afternoon time. It is night time. We do things according to time. We get up in the morning, eat out lunch in the afternoon and study at night. Time is a moment for particular activity. And now it is time to start the lesson. Do you know that time is not same for all the kids in the world? When it is time for you to wake up, it may be time for kids to go to bed somewhere across the world. So friends, let us learn about telling time and other facts about time. Objective At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Tell the time. Use AM and PM correctly to denote time. List facts on time. Solve time problems. As we just saw, at some places it is daytime and at others it may be night. Time changes when we move across the world. A clock is used to read time. As you see, a clock has Three hands. The short hand tells about hour, the long hand tells about minutes, and this thin hand to tell about seconds. You must have seen all the hands of the clock rotate in one direction, that is, from left to right. This is known as clockwise direction. The reverse rotation is known as anti clockwise direction. You must have seen clocks of different shapes and sizes. There are clocks which you wear on hand. They are called watches. There are clocks which you see mounted on wall. Clocks which are mounted on buildings. Let us now learn to read time. Do you all know the table of five? Let's revise it. Table of 5 is displayed on screen. You can read the time easily. If you know the table of number 5, the minute and hour hand are read differently. To know the position of the hour hand, we read numbers written on clock face. And to know the position of minute hand, we need to read the smaller division. Another way to read minute is to multiply the number by 5. When the minute hand is at 2, clock is showing 2 multiplied by 5, that is 10 minutes. This clock is showing the time, 10 past 10. Look at these pictures. Both the clock shows 9 o'clock. But do you see any difference in both the pictures? One is daytime and other is nighttime. How will you tell which is morning 9 o'clock or evening 9 o'clock? Let me tell you. A clock has 12 numbers marked. You know that a day has 24 hours. Hence, the time for first 12 hours from midnight to noon is written with AM. The time for next 12 hours from noon to midnight is written with PM. Let us solve some interesting problems on time. Sarah goes for her morning walk at 7.10 AM. She walks for half an hour. At what time she comes back to her house? To find the answer, we need to add 30 minutes to 10 past 7. The time will be 10.40 a.m. Robert starts at 7 a.m. for his aunt's place by train. The journey time is 12 hours. When will Robert reach at his aunt's place? After 12 hours, it will be 7 p.m. So Robert will reach at her aunt's station by 7 p.m. 
Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Clock shows different time at different places in the world. All clock hands rotate in same direction. To read hour, we read the numbers written on clock face. To read minute, we have to multiply the number on clock face by 5. To show 24 hours on 12-hour clock, we use AM and PM.